Okay, so close up. Ooh. Let's not do close up. <laughs> okay, let's not do close up. <laughs> Today, we are doing something a little different. Today, we're doing makeup. <gasps> makeup with Tyra, which is crazy because I just started wearing makeup a couple months ago. So I'm not calling this a tutorial. Um, this is, what do we call this? This is doing, doing makeup with someone that doesn't know how to do makeup. Doing makeup with someone that is trying to learn how to do makeup. Doing makeup with, with Tyra. Makeup with Tyra, okay? We don't exactly know what's going on. We're just doing what we think we're supposed to be doing from TikTok tutorials, basically. I've seen this trend going around. You basically do your makeup backwards. So you do the contour and the concealer and blush and everything underneath, and then you go on top with foundation. Which to me, I feel like is just going to completely erase everything that I did underneath, but we may as well try it. What do we got to lose here? Let's just try it. Okay, we are gonna do this together. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what products I am using. I'm like saying this as if like, ooh, I'm gonna be influenced to buy that product because Tyra used it. But Tyra doesn't know anything about makeup, so who am I really influencing? Let's get this started. So first, we are gonna get out our contour and our concealer. This is what I use. This is the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Espresso. I use the Dior Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer in 5W. This is some drugstore, not even drugstore, this is beauty supply store HD concealer slash foundation that I bought years ago when like, if you think I didn't wear makeup now, I don't even know why I bought this years ago. Cause, oh, I remember. My niece and I had a YouTube page and we did each other's makeup when neither of us knew anything about makeup. So this is what I bought years ago um, and I still use it. Probably not very good, but Let's just, let's get started. Okay, so I do brighter under my eye and then I use this darker concealer like around here and then up on my forehead. So I've seen people do this where they go up here and it really like snatches your face up and I'm gonna bring it down cause I've been seeing people bringing it down. And then I usually do one here. Next is the darker shade that I do here, I do here, and then up here, and a little bit on my chin. And I don't usually put any here, but I'm gonna do it today because why not, right? Now we are putting on our contour. I usually go here. Here, our nose. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do here today too. We're gonna go for that. Cause I've seen people like snatch their jaws. And like, I want a snatch jaw. Can I have a snatch jaw? So now that that is done, we are gonna put some blush on. I don't know about the highlighter. Like, I feel like the highlighter doesn't go underneath, right? The highlighter goes on top, right? And then when do I do my eyes? After everything, right? Yeah, I'll do my eyes after. I always see you got to wet the sponge first. Also your face, because apparently the products are like dried, so you've got to Get them wet so you can blend them. I'm not using this one. We're gonna do the MAC Fix It. Or Fix Plus. Fix Plus. MAC 
Fix Plus is what we're gonna go in with. So we're just, am I missing my face? Oh, this is just empty. Cool. I can't believe I used this whole thing. All right, so I guess we're gonna go in with the NYX Radiant Finish Long Lasting. Do you see how long I've had this for? You can barely even see the label anymore. All right, blend. Okay, so usually people say the darker parts to the lighter parts. So we're gonna do it here. Oh boy. Uh oh, okay. Well, I'm not even sure what's happening right now. But we're trying our to snatch our chin for the first time. I'm gonna wet the sponge some more. You guys are probably watching this like, girl, what is you doing? Anyone that knows makeup is like, what is you doing? And like, what am I doing? Because what is this? What is that? What is that? Oh boy. Okay, it blended. Okay, is it looking crazy? Not too crazy, right? Like just like medium crazy, not very crazy. Okay, um, so I guess now it's time for the foundation. They usually squirt onto the hand and then take the brush. This might be a mess, this might be a mess. <laughs> Trust the process. That's what we gonna do, we don't trust the process. I also need to clean my brushes, like real bad, but that's like a tomorrow issue. Oh wait, that's not how they do it. Okay, whatever. Okay, so that's what this side looks like. Oh, I forgot to tell you what foundation this is. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in the color 445. It's a soft matte long wear foundation. Um, I think I'm gonna need another pump. So this is what this side looks like. This is what this side looks like. Don't hate it. Also, I'm not really sure why I'm going in with this like dabbing motion because I don't ever do that but I figured because I have the stuff underneath that I shouldn't be like dragging because it's gonna move it around I don't know if that is legit but it just seems like something that I should not be doing I don't know how I feel about this Actually, I do know how I feel. I feel like that erased everything that I did underneath. Doesn't it kind of just look like I'm wearing foundation and like no contour or shaping or anything? All right, well, let's finish it and and see the end result. Cause maybe after I do my eyes and, and my lips and everything that it'll, it'll look uh, better. We're gonna do our eyes. So for eyes, I use the Rare Beauty matte liquid liner it's called perfect strokes so i just pump it a bit and then oh actually i'm getting ahead of myself i'm getting ahead of myself let's do some tape because the way my accuracy is set up we gonna need some tape i always thought that tape was for like rookies and stuff but then i be seeing People use it all the time. Like big makeup influencers use it all the time. What I will say is they probably use like actual special kind of tape. Cause I heard that there was like makeup face tape. But this is, this is scotch tape. But it does the job, okay. What is happening? Why is it doing that? Why is it exploding? Perfect strokes is exploding. 
Then I always bring it in here. And then it gives that like, I feel like it helps with the snatch, you know? Everything is like, like a facelift. And then I actually bring it down a little bit lower. Okay, here. Then this is the one I struggle with because it's awkward. What is the trick? And like, why is one eye so much more awkward than the other? That one looks awful. Can you notice it? Can man on horseback notice it? I feel like that looks awful. You wanna take that tape off? Okay, so close up. Ooh. Let's not do close up. <laughs> okay, let's not do close up. Then we're gonna do mascara. I use this Seals Booster XL that I got in my advent calendar. This is just like a trial size, but this is one thing I will be buying for my advent calendar because I actually really like it. I feel like it, oh, let's curl, let's curl. So this is new for me. I don't usually curl my eyelashes, but the problem with my eyelashes is they go straight out, which is probably not just a problem with my eyelashes. It's probably a problem with everybody's eyelashes. People got really curly eyelashes. That's not me. Mine just goes straight out. Um, so I invested in an eyelash curler. I think the reason why I took so long to buy an eyelash curler is because I feel like they don't actually do anything. Beauty community, please don't come for me. But I feel like for me personally, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting a crappy one or what, but I feel like, see like this one's, this one's curled. This one's not. Why do they look exactly the same? I even like watched the video where a girl said you have to curl the ends first and then go closer to the eyelid and curl the rest of it. Um, I'm trying that technique today and we'll say, still don't see a difference. I don't know, I don't see it. Let me know in the comments if you think that made any difference at all. So this is like a, a base before the mascara. And what I really liked about it is that I feel like it actually elongates my eyelashes. Like no cap. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look. Look at that. I'm feeling like, uh, I'm not gonna say it actually because <laughs> I ain't gonna give in to that TikTok drama. I ain't gonna say it, but if you know, you know. But wow, y'all. This is why I'm gonna buy the full size of this. This is exactly why I'm gonna buy the full size of this. Look at, anywho. A lot of people are going crazy over this telescopic mascara. And I've seen a lot, like endless reviews on TikTok for it. Some people are like, it's amazing. Some people are like, it's to die for. Some people are saying that like, it's the exact same as every other mascara. And that's my attitude towards mascaras is that i feel like they all do the same thing none of them well some of them are better than the other but it's really just the brush i feel like for me and like i don't think that personally i need to be spending so much money on mascara because i don't feel like one has ever like impressed me significantly more than the other you know Oh, and this is the, this is NARS Climax, which was also given to me in my advent calendar. Um, so yeah, this is the difference. So let's do the other eye while this one dries. I'm gonna go close for this, cause I want you guys to see. You can also see my pores, this is very awkward, but. 
I usually do my eyebrows first. Too late. <laughs> so y'all can see without any cuts how this elongates. And this is not sponsored. This is not sponsored. Don't even start with me on that stuff. This is not sponsored. I would let y'all know. I'm just trying to put y'all on to this stuff because it is really like, whoa. Like, look at that. Did you see how much longer it got? Alright, back in with the NARS. Alright, so that's one coat. What the heck is going on over here? Why is this eyelash like... I'm gonna head out. Why is it doing that? Is it not actually attached? Okay then. Second coat. Okay, so that's two coats. So this is what we're looking like so far. I'm not gonna do much more, honestly. We're gonna do some lips and we're gonna do some highlighter. And that's it. That is all. Oh. That is all that we're gonna be doing. So for the highlighter, it's the Fenty Beauty whoop, Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey. I wanna buy that, what's that new one that everyone's using? It's like a, I don't know, but it's like in the clear case. I think I'm gonna get it today because I saw somebody use it on TikTok and I was like, I have never been more influenced in my life. Sprinkle some on the cheeks here, up here. Put some on the nose, yeah. It's right there. And right there. When I say we're gonna do our eyebrows, I don't know anything about doing eyebrows. I don't fill them in or anything like that. I just use this e.l.f. brow lift because it is absolutely sensational. I've tried the Anastasia one and it just wasn't giving me anything, really. I mean, I thought it was, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I used it, I'm like, wow, this stuff is amazing. And then I used this and I was like, but, so this is all I do to my eyebrows. I just brush them up with this eyebrow lift and then I kind of like shape them a little bit, but that's it. That's the extent. Hope you weren't looking for more. <laughs> that's all that's happening. Maybe one day I will learn how to do my eyebrows, but that day is not in my immediate future. That's it, that's all I do. Done. This is the Sephora brand con Sephora brand bleh. Sephora brand Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the color Dark Horse. I'm usually a molasses girl. That is the one and only pencil I've ever used and owned. But we got this one this week. So we're gonna line with this. I love the Sephora lip gel liners because I just feel like they go on so smooth. And then we're just doing a simple lip oil today. This is the Dior Lip Glow Oil in the color Coral. And the oil today. Trust the process. Trust the process. Apply a little. And that's it for the lips. 
See, the lips came out cute. You know, it's giving like purple lipstick without giving purple lipstick. You get me? So that's all we're doing. This is it. This is, this is, this is what it look like. So how do we feel about the foundation going on after the contour, the concealer? How do we feel about that? I don't know if you're supposed to use like a less full coverage foundation. I mean, that would make sense. But what, what do I know? Do I know the difference between a full coverage and a not full coverage foundation? I don't, I don't. But I feel like after this experiment that I have learned that this is a full coverage foundation. Am I right? Let me know. I'm still learning. <laughs> I'm still learning. How'd I do? What do we think? Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this technique if you are going to try this technique, if you think I should go back to doing what I usually do, if you think I should keep making these videos for y'all so we can learn together, let me know in the comments because I don't, I really don't know how to feel. Oh, I didn't even set anything. One size. And then I also have the one size powder. So this is the translucent one, which I don't think I'm supposed to be using. Actually, the girl in Sephora told me that this is the one that I should be using, but I think it's actually too bright. Ooh. Right? Is it too bright? And then I will. Oh! I am making a mess. Alright, now that's it. That is. That's as good as it gets. Isn't that sad? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. But <laughs> this is all we're getting today. Um, so let me know guys, let me know if you think I should be using any different products. Let me know literally any tips, any advice. Don't be shy. You won't hurt my feelings. Let me know. Help me along this journey <laughs> on learning how to beat the face. And also like tag or mention your favorite, um, black makeup influencers. Cause this is how I learn visually. So let me know your favorite black um, makeup artists slash black makeup influencers. Let me know, let me know. Anyways, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.